I worked in the field of human services for about 15 years as I worked in a rehab rehabilitation center for brain injuries and I worked in a community residence for people with um, all kinds of disabilities. Um, I was a legal advocate for a number of years for people with disabilities. So a pretty broad range of different types of um, positions in the human service world. And I really saw that I wanted to have a bigger impact. So I thought that if I went back and got my PhD and was able to teach in the human services program, that it have a bigger impact on broader on a broader field. So all the human service workers that I'm teaching and that are my students will then go out and do good work. I chose to teach at Casanova College because of its size. It's a small college, so I can really get to know my students and um, help facilitate their growth and help facilitate their career success. My classes are small and what I do very right up front is learn everyone's name the first day. We have um, a human services club, so I have all the students who are new invited to that club and they can start right away doing activities with other students. I also chose Casanova because I like the partnerships that I can have with other faculty in the community. We can develop community partnerships because we're small and um, we have the means and the access to do that. The Human Service Program has really amazing students. They come here ready to help other people in need and change the world and they do wonderful things every semester and they really do try to make a difference for people, whether it's in this local community or back at home. So I'm every day thankful that I have this group of students. So for the Human Services Program, it's a very experiential based program. So students are learning in the classroom, but they have requirements for a lot of community um, involvement. Because of that, their very first semester, they're out volunteering, they're going to programs, they're going to trainings. And that's what makes a big difference. Um, the students are required to do two internships and they can do an additional third internship. I think that's what makes it really special for students that every semester they're walking the walk. You know, they're doing what they're learning about in the textbook. Most of the students in the Human Services Program are motivated to be there to begin with. But how to keep them motivated is that every course every semester you introduce new current events in our community or in our state that affect people in need and if um, there's something going on like the elections I can take a week to just talk about how the elections will impact um, human services and social welfare policy. If you get them engaged in what's going on in outside of the college campus they stay much more motivated. The advice I'd like to offer for students is follow your passion. If you're passionate about something, follow that, um, whether it's education or volunteering, because that's the thing that really motivates students. If they have a passion for something, really gets them engaged and energized.